Now, for everybody else who is uh, still with us, we're just going to continue to roll. Let's, uh, let's get dirty with some stuff. Let's actually share some dirty. really actionable stuff that people can go, wow, I totally get it. I understand the theory, which is let's, uh, you know, let's build an engaged audience utilizing content, thinking top, middle, and bottom of the funnel, actually thinking bottom, this. middle, and top of the funnel. And this will be let's see, how the hell does it look like if you set something like this up? So I'm going to let Kurt go ahead and uh, share his screen. This is going to be, this is literally a bonus video. It's called the Golden Ad Report. We're going to go through a little presentation, then I'm going to show you how this works in real life. How's that sound? Yeah, it sounds perfect. By the way, for, I, I probably should have done this, but we just are continuing to roll. If, you, if I cut this and I'm just starting off here, this is part of a much longer series I did with Kurt so that you can uh, see that it's on my podcast, it's on my other pages, but if you're just continuing on, I think everybody who's gonna see this is probably seeing the other parts. So we are now, yes, we are seeing the Golden Ad Report screen. So take us through this. All right, like I said, I got some training videos on this. I'm gonna, if, you, if you go to my social media Ad Genius fan page, you're gonna see a lot of the videos directly on that fan page. And remember, if you watch any of the videos, <laughs> you're gonna be put right into my Hot 7 audience, which is perfect. So let's, uh, wait a minute, that went up a little faster than I wanted. Let's do this right here. We're not gonna go through the whole thing. Or how many slides? No, there? no, not the whole thing at all, sir. This is gonna give you the overall concept of everything we have drawn out, and then I will give people access to this. Perfect. So they can look it over. Let me show you this. See, what basically happens is, is this. This will narrow down the whole thing that you and I talked about. What most people do is they're always concerned about getting a lead, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on, well, how much does it really cost for someone to click on an ad? How much is it to click on a website? How much is it for to become a lead? And then even though they're a lead, let's say for a dollar, how, how much does it really cost for someone to open up that fourth email and go to the sales page? So this is the question we are constantly asking. These are the exact questions that we are constantly asking. So take a screenshot, like write these down. Like these are the exact questions that we are always asking to wonder, is it better to run with a video view or is it better to run with an app? Because we're just changing the belief system overall. Now I'm gonna show you this and I'll go through this really quick. But as a perfect example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna constantly see how much does it cost for us to have someone watch 25% of a video or 50 or 75 or 95%? What is that? Is, if it's a 10 minute video, I mean, maybe, maybe it only costs us a dollar to have someone watch the whole thing. Right, this is where most people are focusing on cost per click and we're looking at cost per video view. Exactly, let's look at consumption and what's better? Is it better to send someone to our landing page for a dollar or is it better to have someone watch a 95% video? What we're doing is we're always filling in these costs. We're trying to figure out, well, okay, so maybe, they cut, maybe, it's a, maybe it's a dollar to watch our entire video and it costs 50 cents to go to our landing page. Okay, that's great, so it's cheaper to go to our landing page but it costs $7 to get a lead. Do I want seven people watching my video or one lead? I think I'd rather have seven people watch my video. So what we do is we can really start figuring out the math and we can start to see, oh, okay, it's actually better if someone watches Brad and I for 10 minutes for a dollar and then, well, then I'll just retarget those people and send them to a sales page. I can actually skip all these other points. So to figure that out, it's really quite simple. This, this is the math right here. So again, you can take a screenshot. I can send this over. Uh, I can send this over as a PDF. <laughs> Whatever works best. Yeah, we'll just this is the math. PDF. Right? I want to see, I want people to see what it, the inside of the ad manager looks like pretty soon. 100%. I'll get there in three slides. Maybe four. But when you break down the math, it starts to look like this. This is a five-minute video. Wait a minute. I get to see people for three minutes and 45 seconds for 50 cents. Let's spend money there. Now, last thing I'm going to show you here, this gets kind of a complicated slide, but it's the last thing I'm going to show you, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some video views to my video. And I'm going to talk about running, uh, uh, actually here, this will make it really easy. It's right here. What I'm going to do starting top of funnel, the last two slides, I'm going to run to cold market. So I'm going to test four different audiences. And I'm going to take Brad's video and I'm going to show you this example. And I'm gonna find people who have a high probability to watch my video. I'm also gonna test that during the, uh, testing the traffic and conversion optimization. You can see my videos to learn more about that. But Brad, I want you to think about these as learning modalities. 
Some people watch videos. Some people will want to watch a video and click to your site. Some people will want to become a conversion and become a lead. We're going to test those out with two and three minute, uh, one and two minute videos and some other, and even like the interview that we're running with you. But I'm going to run three different objectives because I'm wondering what's my math look like right here, mm -hmm. right? What I'm going to test these. What's better? Do I want consumption or do I want to lead? What looks better? And the last part, what ends up happening is this. It's what I call funnel versus influence. It is what most people do is they're only targeting on the outer shell. But all the goodness is all right here in the center. So what ends up happening is this. I'm going to move people to my hot seven audience that I'm going to show you here in just a moment. But now, any time that I have an offer that's coming up, I know that, okay, I can go to this brown box right down over here. I can run video views, reach, engagement, and brand awareness. And I can target these people in the hot seven, and I can run any of these different types of ads to get a whole bunch of exposure really quick to say, hey, I just did an interview with Brad. I can tell people really quick about it. And then the blue box, I'm gonna go ahead and run clicks or landing page clicks or messages. I'm gonna see what's the cheapest way to get people into those next green boxes. That's it. So I'm gonna run people top of funnel and I'm gonna look how can I influence people to bring people into the red spot, which is bottom of funnel. That's it. And a lot of this is run on a dollar a day. So let's take a look at brand stuff. Um, bacon. I like being able to search for my ad creatives with some bacon. There we go. Here's bacon. So, and let's I, I just want to take a moment to remind anybody else who doesn't know exactly what this is. I was at your house uh, about a month ago. And uh -huh. you interviewed me and it was about a 12 minute interview. And then it led to a deeper interview inside your Facebook group. And what you're doing now is you took, you took our interview, which is content that you know, you and I created and you're running, uh, and get, you know, you're running ads to that because it's just, it's just more content that people can know, like, trust you and me, et cetera. So I'm just giving people context in case they aren't sure exactly what this is. Yeah, 100%. Cool. All right, so here's the thing. This is the first thing I showed Brad when we started. I wouldn't even let him talk to me first. I'm like, hey, I gotta show you this. This is great, I gotta show you this. So what happens is, this is what most people do, okay? What we do is, is you're gonna see the way that I have this labeled is basically this is a cold top of funnel, okay? And I'm targeting Russell Brunson. I targeted for $2 a day. Well, I only spent $10. I didn't get any new messages. I didn't get any clicks to my website. It's kind of sucked. So after $10, I turned it down. Well, then I targeted my lookalike email address with this 12 minute interview. And by the way, just to show you any, uh, might as well just show examples since that's what we're looking at, right? And what this example is, is a picture I'm pretty sure oh yeah I found a picture of bacon on the interwebs that I borrowed and then found your picture and my picture and put the pictures together right here and this is what it looks like that's it come on I should now is that a is that a thumbnail of the video or is that actually a link that they click to watch the yeah it's a thumbnail of the video right thumbnail yeah I don't know why the suggested video is not pulling up so basically what it has is this. So this is just a thumbnail right here, right? They can watch the entire video. You'll see, we'll pull it up in a second just so everybody can see. It's a, 50, it's a 15 minute long interview. So 1545 is the length. We have 29 likes, six comments, don't really care about that. But this is basically just talk about Brad. And hey, we're talking about some online business. And if people click down on the link, they can click learn more. And essentially what's gonna happen is, let's see what this pull up. Oh yeah, well. If they want to find out more, they can click three different links. I set this up pretty quickly when you when Brad was here. Takes just a moment. Takes just a moment when we're um, uh, sharing our screens. True. So see what happens. It says, "Hey, we're talking about online business, offline business, working with billionaires and sports legends, insights from over 160 interviews." By the way, you can click this link right here if you want to connect with Brad directly. That goes into Messenger. Click this link if you want to find out more about how we're uh, using Facebook Lives to really grow our business and our clients. Or click here if you want to be notified the next time that we go live. 
Well, what happens is, is in this 15 minute interview, as Brad said, what I did first is I ran that to my middle of funnel, people who already know, like, and trust me. I did that for $5 a day. And then after four days, I turned it to just a dollar a day and just let it perpetually run. So most internet marketers will say, okay, okay, you got this video, but how many people clicked on the messages? I don't care if they click on any of the messages. I just want people to watch. If people watch and click on the message, it's what I call a golden ad. It's the bonus. But if people just consume the video, I'm good. I'm going to show you that mid funnel in a second. But what happens is, is I start testing out, and this is where most internet marketers go wrong because what they're going to do is they're going to look at this video and they're going to say, okay, 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 how many sales did I make? Well, we didn't make any sales here. And we didn't even get anybody, actually, if we look at this, we didn't even get anybody to click on our landing page. We didn't even get anybody to go back to our site. I'm going to show you for our Facebook Live offer. Uh, yeah, we didn't get anybody to go back to our site. We got, sorry, we got 24 links out of how much spend? 121 bucks. Very few people that I know you spend 121 bucks and they're on 24 clicks. Turn it off. This is right. dumb. But what they missed is this right here. Look at this. When we target digital marketing for a 15 minute long interview, look, I'm going to take $64 divided by 123. So 64 divided by 123. It costs 52 cents to have someone spend 15 minutes with Brad and I. They've never seen us before, ever. And it's 52 cents to have them hang out with us for 15 minutes. Well, now what's gonna happen is now that they watch me for 15 minutes, okay? They're now gonna spill over. Even if they actually watch me for two or three minutes, the way we have this set up, it spills over. And you can see, for example, this is, I need to remove bacon. And we're gonna look at a hot campaign. Just takes a minute, hot seven. So again, they watch, they watch that interview, right? Really for pennies when we really think about our marketing costs. So Brad, it's always amazing to me when people are like, yeah, I spent $15,000 on a billboard. And I'm like, how many eyeballs did you get? Well, there's 100,000 people that drive by it. I have no idea if they looked at it. No, I, like here we can tell, yeah, they looked at it. They opened it, clicked it, watched it. Oh, like we know everything, right? So what happens then is, look, you can see these two strategies here. I have video views for a dollar and engagements for a dollar, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click on my ad set. So what ends up happening is very magical. See, what happens is, and this is kind of buggy, so I'm not quite sure if I can pull the names out or not. Let's see. So personally, for July, uh, from July till August, so July 1st to August 16th, 45 days, 46 days, I spent $1,100 on my hot seven. It's not a ton of money compared to the other money that I've spent for ads. It could be a little bit of money. But if you notice, I put in $1,100 and my return is, well, actually, I don't really have much of a return. The interesting thing is this content doesn't give me the exact return. So... What ends up happening is this content right here, well, this content's kind of like getting regular emails and seeing regular content and re, re, uh, seeing regular blog posts. Look, I end up spending $1,100. I got 44 button clicks, 68 clicks, average click back to my website, 16 bucks. It's expensive. Well, I'm only running this for a dollar a day, but look at this. Wait a minute. For a dollar a day, we run some of these strategies that literally will spend, I'll take a second. So this one right here is funnel versus influence. This is an eight second video, very short. It cost us $28 to have 1,400 people watch that eight second video. So let's just do the math real quick. This is at a dollar a day for the entire month. So 28 divided by 1,415. So, for 1.9 cents, I have I had people watch see that one post. That's one post for the dollar a day. My next dollar one is, what's this one right here? Funnel versus influence. The algorithm's changing. This is a one minute video. Spent $35, 142 views. So 35, 35 divided by 142, 24 cents. So now you can see I've spent 25 cents to influence someone twice. They don't have to buy anything, right? 
I can keep on going, but here's the big thing. Look at this. So this means when someone gets in my audience, <coughs> I have 22,000 people in my hot seven. So I have 22,000 people that I can mathematically know how many people I'm going to influence. Many people can never tell you, hey, how many people are in your retargeting audience? I, I don't know. How many people are on your email list? Uh, 46,392. I can tell you, hey, in the last 45 days in my step seven, I've influenced 22,000 people. And of those 22,000 people, they've seen my content on average 5.21 times. So now they've seen my interview with Brad, they've seen a bunch of other content, they've seen a bunch of other replay stuff. So now when it comes time to make an offer, they're like, oh my goodness, yeah, I've seen Kurt everywhere. I know he did this training, he did this, he did that, did this other thing. Whenever I'm ready to make an offer, those are the hottest people there. Doesn't cost much to run this strategy. And Brad, you've been doing this for you've been doing this a lot longer than I have, the online marketing stuff. Have you ever seen anybody run a strategy like this at no. this little low of ad spend? No, not at all. Especially low ad spend, high effectiveness. And, um, and every time you do add a new piece of content, you do these um, hot seven, you're adding to it. I mean, it's just, you're building like a snowball. You're just packing on the ability for you to build rapport with somebody in one way or another. It's like showing somebody a whole bunch of different episodes of your TV show, if you would. Um, let me ask this question. So you talk about hot seven, and I'm gonna, I'm, this is where I'm going to play a little dumb. You also talk about step two audience. So hot seven is pretty understandable where it's people who've been, uh, who've engaged, interacted, et cetera, past seven days, a whole bunch of different uh, potential audiences, which you list out in your courses. Um, step two audience, will you please just review the basics of what exact that Exact same thing except for 90 days. Right. So here's the interesting thing. Now, like, literally what I'm about ready to tell you is worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So if I charge $47 a month, like I'm telling you, like this hands down. See what, what, uh, what now I'm going to sneeze. Hang on a second. Well, he is sneezing. Hopefully you guys are, this is making sense, shifting some paradigms. Sorry. Um, now I just lost my train of thought. It was going to be brilliant. So we were too. talking about step two audience, how step Thank two you. is more, not, it's, it's, it's you said 90, it's pretty much it's the same easy. thing except it's 90 days? It's 90 days. So okay. what happens is, let's go back to your beer business, for example. You're, let's say you're working on your funnel. And maybe you have three or four videos that you're running. Maybe you're not putting out a video every other day. Well, what starts to happen is you start running your ad spend. And now this pond of seven days is about this big. And if they don't engage in seven days, they fall off. So the pond gets a little bit bigger. But at 90 days, that pond gets really big. Yeah. So what ends up happening, like I have a client who spends $30 a day on a Facebook Live video that I mentioned they did two years ago. The problem is they have four and a half million views on that video. Great. Their $30 a day budget cannot support millions of views. So what we do is I'm, I say this, I'm like, look, set up a, a hot seven first because those are going to be the hottest people that you can retarget. And then you're going to start to see that, man, this, there, this is some great content. Well, then you can build out your 90 day audience as well because essentially it comes down to this. If you have a large email list, which you, would, which you should be doing, if I should all over you, is you remove people who have not opened an email in the last 90 days. Because why send an email to people who haven't been engaged? Well, what we, do on, what we do on Facebook, we target people based off their interests, like they like Tony Robbins. That's also based off 90 days. So if internet searches, Facebook, and our email best practices are 90 days, let's definitely do 90 days. But this is where I say it saves you thousands of dollars. What we learned is that pool actually gets a little bit too big for just 90 days. So focus on your hot seven first. Get those people, that's your hottest tribe that they know, love, and trust you. Then what happens is let's say you do an offer to that hot seven and they're like, like we have that bot camp for $1,000 for six weeks. They're like, oh my goodness, this is great. Well, now what I'm gonna do is retarget my step two. Because these are people who aren't in my, uh, who are also in my hot seven, but these may be people a little bit longer. So I'm going to really run my hot seven all the time. And then when I have an offer, I'm going to go to that little bit warmer market or a bigger event that I want to promote. And then my top of funnel, I'm not starting and stopping my top of funnel is I'm just constantly letting videos run. And whenever I want to test an offer, it's either the hot seven or the step two. Right. Exactly. So it's really, um, it's like a ballet. It's this interplay between audiences and understanding like what content goes to what audiences and which way to 
um, you know, obviously build awareness, build rapport, and then move them to an, an actual action that you want to take. What's the most complex aspect of this that you think most people kind of screw up and need the most help with? Oh, easy. They overcomplicate things. Because what we do is like, I just took over an ad account from someone and they heard about my strategy and their ad person tried to implement my strategy. And what it basically came down to is they had one video that led to a second video. If they watched 50% of the second video, they went to a third video, the third video, if they watched 75% went to a fourth video. And then all of a sudden these retargeting pools just got so small. Yeah. By the time they were trying to retarget someone to the sales page, there was nothing there to really target. They're like, I don't really get this strategy. So they overcomplicate it. So remember, I don't need people, and you and I even talked about this, I don't need people to watch video one, two, three, four, and then send people to an offer. Let Facebook run all of those at a dollar a day. Don't overcomplicate it. Like just they may see them. video four first, they might see video two last. Um, Doesn't matter. And you're not worried about that. Right. No. Because the there, other there thing are some ways to really think about this, like overcomplicating, okay, I'm gonna show them video one to uh, a cold audience and then Let's say I run into a cold audience and I spend $1,000 and then it becomes, uh, let's say now I've got an audience of a million people and I run video two to that million people, but then the only ones who watch 50% or more, like 100,000. And then like this whole thing, that sounds good in theory, but it's complicated as hell. And that's not what you're doing. And that's one of the things I like. I think the one thing that people just have to be... Um, comfortable in doing is say, listen, I'm going to put out content on a regular basis and I'm going to run a dollar a day to it. And if I have 20 videos out there, that's what $600, 20 a day times 30 days a month. That $600 is not a big spend. And that's for 20 pieces of content. And well, here's, here's, here's something you just mentioned though. You said publishing regular pieces of content that you know, most people don't do. Right. right? So it's like, okay, let's, let's think about this for a second. Do we write a blog a week? That's a lot of work. Do we record three videos a week? That can be a lot of work. How about just a video a week? That can be a lot of work. How about, shit, how about we just didn't do anything for six weeks, but we have these 10 different posts that are running for a dollar a day, so top of funnel, people are always seeing our content. Now we're out of that content thing where it's like, God, I gotta write a blog post and do three videos and do a podcast, and you know by the end of six months, you maybe have three articles done, maybe two podcasts, right? It just doesn't get done. So what I'm saying, is, what I tell people is, yeah, you got to get on the hamster wheel of doing regular content, but not four times a week. No. Literally, you just do some content, put it up for a dollar a day, let that run. Don't ever turn off your hot $7 a day. Just keep stacking it and adding to it. Turn stuff off if it doesn't seem to make sense, but keep stacking it. This well, is and the other nice part answer. about that is, let's say you've got 10 or 20 videos, maybe five, it doesn't really matter, in the middle of the funnel, then you really only need one or two videos out there to the cold audience to get them to engage with anything, like a five, 10 minute video, uh, click to a landing page or whatever, because now you can start sending them 20 pieces of content automatically that's already done and really useful. The other stuff doesn't have to be, you don't have to create brand new content for brand new people all the time. Just put out that one or two pieces of bait that are super valuable for your target market to build awareness and let the rest of the magic do its work. So that's why the setup of this is I think critical and it's where a lot of people kind of mess up is look, let's get your audiences built, right? Let's get your, let's, let's identify what your, you know, what's your funnel, what are your audiences and build the middle of the funnel. Let's set up all your hot seven. Let's set up your step two and you got a big old list and now let's create, let's, let's take an inventory of what content you already have and put out there. And this is one of the things I do. I do with some of my clients is I create this kind of like content catalog that is very efficient for them to not only create new content, but to take what they've got. And then we say, okay, let's put these in. We've got these audiences, this middle, middle of the funnel, let's just load them up and set them and to a degree, forget them. Right? So that's fantastic. Cause what we have, what we ended up basically doing, is so many people will start and stop ads. They're like, let's get the funnel up, start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. And they're like, it's just not working. Well, there's something called machine learning that Facebook's running. So what you do is get some of this content up first, run it for a dollar a day. So remember, even if you have three videos, hypothetically, you have three videos, 
this, you, people are not going to see the same three videos over and over and over and over and over and over and over. The Facebook algorithm doesn't work that way. They're going to send it to them at the right time at the right place. But while you're tooling on your new webinar, while you're tooling on that new sales funnel that the copywriter was supposed to get something to you on Tuesday, but that was last Tuesday, now it's four weeks from a Tuesday, and you're not running traffic for four weeks, the algorithm is constantly learning from the people coming in top of funnel, coming in mid funnel, so you can start and stop your ad funnel anytime that you want. Your content funnel, leave up and running so the machine learning is always there and you're always in front of your people. And then it's easy to put up an offer, it's easy to connect with people, don't start and stop. It's the worst thing that you can do for your ads is to start and stop. Absolutely. Cool, man. This has been fan freaking tastic. I love the fact that um, we've, we've been able to share this stuff. As I said, you know, we've been doing it behind the scenes for a lot of people. And um, I think it's, I think it's kind of a, the wave of the future where people are going, but I still think it's going to be a little while because this is one of those, as we mentioned before, you got to kind of shift your paradigm of what is, um, you know, what's possible, change the way you're looking at this. And this really does, you know, people like us, we come from this world of direct response, which is put an offer in front of a targeted audience and get them to buy very measurable, direct, linear to sale. Mm -hmm. And this is where branding starts to take uh, a bigger place. And it's for the first real time, like a, a really good marriage of branding and direct response, whereby people are, um, you know, you're building that brand with the content, with the rapport, with everything else. And people are like, wow, this guy just continuously puts out good stuff. And I see him everywhere. And um, I'm always happy with what I see. Sometimes it's short, sometimes long. And that's where it makes, it greases the shoot for making direct response a little bit easier. Cause pretty soon they're going to say, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to check out what this guy has got. And um, you know, we're, we're fortunate that the tools out there exist like Facebook and even YouTube, et cetera. I mean, you know, we didn't really yeah. discuss this, but you can do these on other channels where this is very spa Facebook specific, what we were talking about, but a lot of the same strategies can apply across channels and across different platforms. Right. So we mentioned this on the live, um, on the podcast and the part one of this video, but if folks want to go deeper down this rabbit hole, if they want to learn this, I mean, you have a course um, mm -hmm. that they can learn this. You have multiple products. One of them I highly recommend is the how to do Facebook lives because uh, I mean, that's not what it's called, but it's a, it's a really quick course, but very chock full of templates and strategies and frameworks on how to like, if you don't like producing videos and, having video editors, et cetera. You can do nothing but just go live on Facebook, YouTube, et cetera. And you've got a terrific framework. I think you charge what, $47 for that or something really cheap. And then your social media ad genius 2.0, your flagship course is currently, uh, what, what's the investment in order to get in thousand dollars or $97 a month. Or yeah. if you go to social S M A G two forward slash lot of S M A G com forward slash live. It'll take you to the Facebook live products, 47 bucks. We'll give you a 30 day access to social media ad genius. If you decide to take us up on that offer. And if you want to get social media ad genius off of that, because you were here on this call, it's only 47 bucks a month. So for less than $47 a month or for 47 bucks a month, if you decide to do that afterwards. Yeah. Hands down. It's a 2000 to $3,000 training. Like that's not a made up number. We've sold it for years. Right. And that's how, if you want to learn this, if you want to give it to somebody, one of your ad buyers and tell them to kind of put this into effect, you can, you can also contact either myself or Kurt and we can do a call with you. We can see if, give you a second opinion on your, on your strategy and let you know if this is something applicable for you. And if you actually need help implementing it. You can always get a hold of me at askbrad at baconwrapbusiness.com. You can find me on Facebook, um, social media, et cetera. And then Kurt, if somebody wants to reach out directly to you, do you have a preferred method of communication? Send me a message on the Facebooks, Kurt Molly, C-U-R-T-M-A-L-Y. I think there's three profiles you'll see on there. You'll click on them and you'll be like, oh yeah, it's this guy who talks about the Facebooks a bunch. So I have a bunch of uh, uh, trains right on my personal page, or you can also go to social media ad genius dot or social media ad genius is the fan page. You'll see I upload a bunch of trainings there. And by the way, if you go to the left hand side of the fan page, there's a little box that says 
um, uh, ads running or see the ads, you can see all my ads that I'm running. So you can see all the examples right there, but just go to the fan page, you'll see it there. Perfect. That's it. Guys, thank you so much. Hey, uh, stop sharing your screen, Kurt. Let them see our big, beautiful faces. In full. Big, beautiful faces. So thank you guys for watching. This has been a very special episode where we started off as just a normal video interview podcast. And I decided to deep dive and have do some screen sharing and just go extra long because they said, Kurt is one of my secret weapons here at Costanzo Marketing Group. And he's worked with myself and a lot of my clients and I cannot recommend him and his strategies highly enough. If you personally are running a business and whether you're a thought leader, a consultant, you own a service business or you've got a, an e-commerce business, a physical product or something that you feel as though you're maybe stuck, you're plateaued, you're not 100% sure if the marketing plan you're pursuing is the right one for you and you want a little more clarity on your roadmap and what you can do, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Ask Brad at baconwrapbusiness.com is one of the easiest ways to get a hold of me and I'm happy to see if there is a fit for my strategic partner program and uh, if not, I'm happy to refer you on to somebody else who might help. Kurt, thanks again, brother. And I look forward to hanging out with you next time you're out here in San Diego. Absolutely. I will see you all later. All right, guys. Thanks, subscribe to Bacon Ride Business if you're not already. And if you love this, share it on social media. Let us know. And we'll talk to you real soon. See you